Welcome to Rathenic. So, is there anything big going on this weekend, Alex? Yes, there is. The Oscars. It's a big weekend for people who are into movies, and <laughs> we're those people. Yeah, we are. We love movies. Oh my gosh. I love movies. Oh my gosh. Ever since I can remember, I've, there's been movies. Movies. So today we're just going to give you a couple predictions for five. the Oscars. Five predictions. And we're going to go head to head. I think we might have a couple that are the same, but next week we're going to see who won. So let's go ahead and give them our predictions and see who's going to be the smart one and who's going to be the other one. Okay. We'll start off with Best Supporting Actress. Mm. What do you think? Mm. Kate Winslet. Boom. I think, I think she has For a good Steve chance. Jobs, if you didn't know. I am going to say Rachel McAdams for Spotlight. I wrote her so many letters uh, back in the day. Uh, there's a notebook to Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yep, yeah, Rachel McAdams. Lovely, lovely woman. Whoa, it just got cold. The sunset was in the way. We're using my jacket to block it. Anyway, for Best Supporting Actor, who are you going to pick, Alex? I don't know if he did the best, but I'm going to pick Sylvester Stallone. I, I think this is it for him. I want him to win. It's, it's a hard choice, but I'm going with Sylvester. Oh, how I want you to be right, Alex, but you're wrong. I'd like it to be right. I'd be very happy if you won. But I got to think that it's going to Tom Hardy for The Revenant. He did an excellent job. But if Rocky wins, I'll be very happy to take that loss. Got those pelts. That was my Tom Hardy impression. Uh, so, Andy, who do you have for Best Actress? I have Brie Larson for Room. That's, that's my choice, too. I... I really liked Broom, actually. I wasn't sure that I would like it, but it was actually pretty good, and Brie Larson did an amazing job, and my heart was beating during that movie. If you haven't seen it yet, you should go watch it. Pretty intense. What if we both get it wrong? Stupid. All right, now the best actor. I think we might be the same here as well. Who are you going with? Leonardo DiCaprio. That's right. That's who I'm picking as well. If this happens, the internet might break, but I hope it does happen. I think he really deserves it this year. We've deserved it a lot of years, and it's been a big buildup. I could see maybe Steve Jobs, uh, what's his name? Michael Fassbender. I could see maybe Michael Fassbender with Steve Jobs being a dark horse in there, but I gotta edge it out to Leo. You just want Leo to win. I want him. He's done so great in everything he's ever done. Never made a mistake, ever. All right, now it's time for the best picture of the year. For my decision, I'm going to go with The Revenant. I think it has a really good chance. Uh, I think it really is between The Revenant and Spotlight, in yeah. my opinion. Uh, but I think with all the buzz and the success that the movie's had, I think it's going to be going to The Revenant. Yeah. I'm gonna go Revenant too. Um, it's kind of hard. Spotlight's good. Think Short's good. I mean, all these movies are good. That's why they're up for Best Picture. But Revenant definitely it was all the buzz behind it, all the amazing actors in it, and just the beautiful pictures and uh, cinematography in it. Just I think it's the best picture. Really good. Yep, so it's just going to go down to the supporting actors and actresses, I guess, to see who's going to win between us. So, it's going to be good. Well, that is the show this week. You need to turn in next week to see who wins. What are we doing to the loser? The loser has to eat dinner twice. Oh! Yep, that's pretty bad. Ooh, right. all right, so next week we'll let you know who's eating two dinners. Oh man, I hope it's not me. I hope it's me. I mean, not me. See you next time. Subscribe, follow, tweet, periscope, flicker, bye.